Hello people and welcome to Crypto Exposed. Okay guys, got a post here from BSC News and I thought I'd share this with you because once again some bullish news for HBAR. Uh, Hadira joins Ripple and Aptos Foundation in the Mecat Crypto Alliance launches asset tokenization studio so just getting a little bit deeper into this for you um, Hedera joined forces with Ripple and Aptos Labs as founding members of the Mecat Crypto Alliance aimed at managing the EU's evolving regulatory landscape the Mika Alliance was formed by DLT Science Foundation in brackets DSF which focuses on promoting blockchain adoption across industries Specifically, the alliance will help crypto firms meet new EU regulations, particularly for those pertaining to crypto asset service providers in brackets CASPs. Okay, so um, this is great stuff to say. Why? Well, if you've got a um, you know company like Adira who are helping shape um, EU regulations, first and foremost, not to say that they're going to just shape it to however they want it to, but they're going to make it crypto friendly, right? They're going to make it fair. And this is what, this is what America should be doing, right? They should be working with crypto compliant companies like Adira, like Ripple. Yes, they were sued, but we all know that that lawsuit was garbage. We all know that it was completely wrong. And that's why they didn't really win it the way they were supposed to. The SEC lost on everything that counts. They should actually be working with these companies to say, okay, tell us about your technology. Tell us what you think are the kind of things that we should be doing to try and make it, you know, yes, available to the public and to, you know, these institutions and stuff, but a way that it's still going to be safe, right? So you both bump heads together and put together um, regulations as, as a unit, as a unity, right? Rather than, hey, no, we're just going to go and sue everybody and just try and take out all these companies and slow the whole growth down. That's the wrong way to do this. Having people who understand the technology, who are behind the technology, companies like Hadira and Ripple, etc., um, who can explain it to you guys, so then you can say, okay, well, this is what we think are, you know, uh, fair regulations for this kind of stuff. Then they might be able to turn around and say, oh, actually, like, this isn't too good because this is going to really stifle the crypto industry if you do it in that way. So maybe you could do it this way instead. And I might say, okay, that sounds fair. Like we can still make that work where we can still make the regulations, you know, strict enough that they have to comply with this. It's not going to affect it too much. And you guys get a bit more breathing room so you can still, you know, it's not going to completely crush your, um, your ability to kind of grow and expand. And that's the kind of way it should be. Um, so the fact that Hedera are having an open um, voice in this kind of thing, they're going to make it crypto friendly. Now, the other reason why I say this is so good is because they've already got a leg into the EU then, right? Because they're speaking with the main regulators. So what you got to think is, as soon as all this stuff is like, you know, their regulations are, are you know, rolled out, well, one of the first companies you're going to go to is Hadira, right? Because they've helped create the regulations. So you're going to be like, well, these are going to be one of the most compliant uh, companies within the space because they helped make the regulations. So they're not obviously going to shoot themselves in the foot and make regulations that are not even going to be good for their own company. Of course, they're going to be making sure that it's something that they're already compliant with and that they're uh, following. So they've already kind of got a head start in terms of getting into the EU. So in regards to helping with like mass adoption in that regard, once EU regulations come out, like Hadira is going to be one of the, the, the main first choices, right? And the fact that they obviously do enterprise grade technology software, that's what the institutions are going to want to be looking for. So we already know how good the tech is with HBAR. Um, so like everything that you need is there, right? So to me, this gives them a huge advantage. So I think this is a great move. I think this is going to be something that's really beneficial for them in the long term. Um, and I'll definitely keep an eye on this. So the next thing we've got here is the asset tokenization studio. Um, once again, this is huge because as we know, tokenization is something that's really being brought to the forefront now. It's something that's being spoken about a lot. I've said it before. I do think this is something that can help bring a lot of value to a network. Um, not in the way that people think, but yes, it, you know, overall it is going to bring value to the network because, um, it's the prestige of it, right? You know, when you hear like, we've, we've got proof of this. Like, for example, when the news first came out that people thought BlackRock was, you know, um, tokenizing on Hedera, that news made people want to invest in the token, right? Like, it, it's that kind of thing. So we know that this adds value. We, we've seen that to be provably true, right? And so 
they've launched this now uh, tokenization studio and there's just some things that I just want to quickly point out to you guys I think you know why this is going to be uh, again beneficial for um, Hedera specifically um, tokenization is quickly becoming a trend with 50% of institutional investors showing interest in investing in tokenized assets according to Hedera so already as I said before this is something that's becoming a big thing um, it, it could be one of the big um, narratives in this ball run to be honest with you because I'm hearing it a lot now RWA RWA tokenization so I really do think that's a very possible thing the next thing is something I've covered before but I'm just going to reiterate this um, Hedera's open source studio is equipped with regulatory tools including KYC slash AML flags and support for SEC regulations making it a useful tool for asset managers issuers and regulators that right there is a secret weapon it really is because i'm telling you now it, as you saw right there what it said support for sec regulations we've seen how the sec are being with crypto in general the fact that they've got something that is already compliant with the sec's regulations is going to help them and it's going to make institutions who want to get involved feel that little bit more comfortable because they'll be like okay you guys are following the rules clearly you've got all the things that we need to make sure that we will be compliant because you know if you've been looking at how the SEC have been going on right now and you're an institution, you probably will be thinking, I'm not touching crypto right now because there's crypto companies getting sued like left, right and center. So I don't want it to be a thing where we're doing business with a crypto company using their crypto token. And the next thing you know, the SEC are claiming it's a security and we violated securities laws. We, we don't want that, right? So if they've got software and technology that is compliant with these regulations and things like that, it's that kind of peace of mind where it's like, okay, I know that these guys are following the rules. They're doing everything they're supposed to be doing. And so there's no real reason as to why they should get into any kind of legal scrutiny. They, they, they've got that safety measure. Um, KYC and AML, like it is huge, guys. I've said this to you before. Um, it's a massive deal. So the fact that they've got this already, you know, within the actual studio, like already built in, it's going to be something that people are going to want. So to me, for institutions, that is going to be like, it's a must have, right? it's a legal requirement like if they don't have that kind of stuff they can get sued they can get fined they can have huge um legal ramifications so it's something that really is important so to see that to me i'm telling you guys that is massive so i'm really glad to see that as well so two main reasons here as to why i think this news that we're seeing here uh both of them really bullish in my opinion so really good to see this going on and yeah i'll definitely keep an eye on it but as i say i think there's a lot here going on and i think these are both real big positive news for hedera so great stuff to see and if i get any updates on this i'll, I'll keep you updated thank you very much for watching this please remember to like comment and subscribe and hit that bell take care